Hi guys, I was surprised how many of you were searching for the solution how to auto-wire bin uh, to a static field in a class. So, in the first part of the video I'm gonna give you the solution, but uh, what you should know is that uh, I strongly not recommend to you to use this solution. And what I suggest is uh, that you should rethink your code twice to find a better solution. And in the second part of the video, I'm gonna show you a few examples of uh, most common cases where people want to or try to uh, auto-wire bin to a static field for some purpose. And I'm going to show you um, how you can rewrite your code to avoid it. Let's start doing what you came for. As you can see, I prepared a MyLogger component, which is responsible for printing some message with a specific logger prefix. And uh, this prefix is a wired parameter from my application YAML file. Let's see for a moment for my sample uh, application. I implemented command line runner. I auto-wired uh, MyLogger um, to the class. Uh, to the field and I use it when application starts to print a hello world message and as you can see that's the result okay so uh, what we can see is the message with my custom prefix let's suppose that now you want to create a logging utility class which will be responsible for uh, printing an info message, for example, and it uses our custom logger. So uh, let's try to implement such kind of, of, uh, of class. Okay, so let's create a class called logging utility. Okay, let's make it final. And let's create our public static void uh, method called info, which takes a string parameter message. And what we want to do is we want to, to have private static my logo and we want to print the message using some let's say info prefix plus message okay and we would like to have a field also info prefix and now we would like to have if it won't be a utility class you would probably um, uh, annotate it like something like uh, auto wired here and some kind of value here and let's say we want to add another prefix logger info prefix which is, let's say, something like that. Okay, in a normal situation, we would have something like that. Um, okay, so let's try to use it in my sample application instead of my logo. As you may expect, when I run the application, we got null pointer exception. As you can see, we got null pointer exception here because uh, this uh, this bin uh, wasn't uh, auto wired. Uh, so uh, now it's time uh, for the solution. What we can do is uh, we can copy both of them 
of this uh, uh, fields and we can create another bin called let's say a static context initializer for example we can mark it uh, as a component and we can create a void init method and we can mark this init method as a post concept. What we can do here is we can just auto wire those values to, to this bin and we can just go back to our logging utility. We can create a specific setters for, for my variables, for my fields. And then I can just set uh, info prefix as my info prefix and I can also set login utility, set my logger as my logger. So let's test it. Okay, and now everything works like a harm. If you like my videos, you can subscribe to my channel and you can also uh, click this notification bell uh, next to subscribe button um, to get the notifications about new videos from my channel. Let's go to the second part of the video when I'm going to show you uh, my example, which I had a problem with. Okay, so uh, Let's suppose that I want to prepare uh, some enum class with, uh, with enumerated actions like action one. And let's say action two. And I want to have a method called do something and I want to make it abstract and I want to have a custom um, a custom implementation of uh, the method uh, for each um, for each action Okay, that's my first implementation, that's my second implementation. And I would like to have something like public static my logger. And what I want to do is to just to print to log some message. For example, action one and action two. Okay, that was my piece of code. And as you can see, I have my uh, static, um, I have my static logger here. So uh, as I uh, have already shown you, uh, I can use static context, context initializer to initialize uh, this, uh, this field. But uh, the better solution is just to uh, it's just to remove uh, my logger from here and make it as a parameter of the action. Okay, and at the end, let's see how we can call our action in practice. So I can go to my sample application and I can just call action dot action one dot do something. And I, as you can see, I need to pass my logger here. So let's auto wire it here. And we can pass uh, my logger to the method. Okay, let's see the result. As you can see, action one was called.
Okay, guys, that's all what I prepared for today. But uh, please uh, rethink what I told you at the beginning of the video. Uh, try not to overuse this solution uh, because it's not a good practice to auto wiring bin to a static class. Okay, it's even impossible. And as you can see, there is a little uh, workaround that you can use. But it's strictly not recommended to to use it. So please rethink your code twice before you use the solution from the video. Uh, so thank you for watching and see you in next videos. Bye.